Whew, I just love movie night with the girls. And you brought out the good snacks? Nice! Vicky? Whoa! Since when did Vicky get tatted up? So, girls, like my new look? I'm guessing you didn't discuss your new tattoos with the girls yet? No offense, but you guys are way too gullible. Love tattoos but aren't sure you'll love them forever? Then why not make your own temporary ones? Cut out a print of a design you love. Don't worry about getting it right along the edges. Now spray the front of the print with perfume. Next, fill a small bowl with water. Place the print face up in the bowl. Now wait for about two minutes. It's time! Wherever you choose to place the tattoo, spray it with perfume. Place the print face down on that exact same spot. Spray the top of the paper just one more time. Make sure it's completely pressed against your skin. After a minute, go ahead and lift the paper, revealing your brand new tat. Pretty cool, right? Oh man, that really does look real! Sophia? Sophia? You okay? Hey, you passed out. Huh? What happened? We all got tattoos! You did too, see? <gasps> what?! Please tell me this isn't permanent! Don't sweat it, Sophia. You can totally take that ugly thing off. A little micellar water will rub that guy right off. Really? Oh, thank goodness. See? It's all good. That was a close one. Sophia, look! Really, Amy? Ooh, sorry. Here, try this. Was that supposed to make it better? When in doubt, you can always rely on beauty hacks to make things better again. Whoa. How'd you do that, Amy? Get your eyeliner and… ready. were some good dreams. Even my skin feels well rested. Hey! It's the last day of my clean eating routine! Let's see if all that hard work paid off. I feel lighter already. Here comes the moment of truth. Come on! No way! That's even less than my goal weight! I'd fit into those skinny jeans. I haven't worn these for years now. Oh yeah, these should fit. They feel great. My friends are gonna be so jealous. Ah! You could fit two of me in here. Should I throw them away? Or turn them into something new? Pull down the front area like this and tear the seam above the back waist area. Now put elastic between two attached chopsticks. This will pull it through to the other side, see? Trade the chopsticks out for a needle and thread. This way you can secure the elastic at the waist. Be sure to cut the hanging excess fabric! Nice. Now these jeans fit like a glove. Tailor made just for me. <gasps> Yikes! When it comes to putting clothes away, there are two kinds of people. Those who keep organized, and those who are like Lana. Ooh, this has gotten bad. But what's one more measly old shirt? There, problem solved. I gotta take a break from all this cleaning. Finally, my last piece of laundry is done. Gah! Run for cover! I almost got buried 
alive in this stuff! Why is nothing hung up properly? Ah, oh, man, look at all this! Jeans take forever to hang up. But perhaps there's a way around that. I know! Crease the leg, then roll them all the way down to the bottom. Use the extended pant leg to cover the roll. Pull it so it looks like a little denim burrito. Now all you have to do is stack them. And I didn't even have to touch one hanger. Staying organized sure feels satisfying. What? The exam moved to 12? Oh man, I'm gonna be so late! Better grab your stuff and go, Sophia. Kinda need these. Cute shoes, but are you sure you can run to class in those? Almost there! Almost there! Sophia, your shoe! Huh? Hey, Cinderella, is this yours? Oh, yeah. Must have lost it on my way down. Oh, thanks a bunch! If you have heels that keep slipping off, try fashioning an attached ankle bracelet. Put a dab of hot glue on the edge of the ribbon and fold it closed around the bracelet. Perfect. Now add some hot glue to the back of your heeled shoe, like so. Stick that same ribbon onto the shoe. See? Now you can be sure your heels will never slip off again. Not only is this hack practical, but it's super cute! Getting dressed can sometimes feel like a puzzle. Especially when you're tiny like Sophia. Ugh, this shirt is just too big. I could make a whole second shirt out of all this fabric. What if I just wear the whole thing out like this? Nope, it's no use. Oh, look at that pretty scarf Amy's wearing. I'm sure she'd let me borrow it, right? Sorry, Amy. I'm just gonna grab this thing for a sec. Hey! Was that really necessary, Sophia? Next time you're fussing with a shirt that's too long, try sporting a cute little front knot. Tie the scarf around the knot any way you like. You can put a little bow on it if you'd like. Next, tuck the knot under the shirt so that all you can see is the cute scarf peeking out. Someone's looking fabulous! It's finally time for bed. Time to take off that bold lip. Um, what's happening? No offense, Helly, but you look like a clown. Don't stress. All hope's not lost. Snag a hunk of Vaseline and rub it on your lips. Don't be afraid to really get in there. Whoa there. Now wipe it all off with a cotton swab. Much better. Nighty night! Looking to master the perfect winged eye? Following alongside tape can work if you want a free, painful wax from marked strings to awkward spoons. Oh, yikes. Instead, try cutting the sides of a foam applicator. Dip it right into a smudge pot. Slide it across your entire eyelid in one swift move. You've mastered the perfect winged cat eye. 
Meow. All right, Vicky, we get it. You've got the flirty eyes down. Now go use it on someone special.